Alright guys, welcome back to the Dragon Ball Z Doka Battle video. Today we're hopping into the uh, Omega Shinron Burst Mode today. Uh, this is the, uh, for the second Dokkan Fest, the STR one. It uh, starts off with the final boss as a Sin into Omega, the S Fizz into STR um, phase. Um, these, these are always really fun, I, I enjoy doing these a lot. Um, but you can expect for the, uh, the Mantra Boost Saga is top one, and Master Evolution is the second to lower, um, percentage, but yeah, Mantra Boost Saga is probably the easiest to do. Uh, which is just a better leader, better cards. But, um, yeah. I wanna see, I end up using the, um, yeah, Mantra Vegeta, which he ends up being really, really good. He's like an MVP in this. Um, he ends up going really good. Like I said, this is my, um, my second attempt at it. First one didn't go too great. Because I messed up and brought a, uh, tick. Um, it was Int, the Int Trunks. The, uh, one from the, um, Bio Broly movie. And he just didn't do great. But, um, ended up bringing that, uh, where is the, the, um, GT trio, the, um, the Goten, Gohan, and Trunks on the Shenron. Uh, they, they did really good, and, uh, Actually, I think it's like the uh, GT that's on the Z, but uh, they, they helped a lot, and they, they brought the mechanic and uh, the condition for um, Macho Vegeta to get his 40% damage reduction for his uh, intro, so gotta see that as well, and also the intro is phenomenal, I forgot how good it was actually, like it's really, really good, um, I didn't realize it was like that, but uh, it, it, was, it was good. And here you can see I messed up with the uh, conditions. I made it to where it was 400 team cost, which is a little bit, you know, is limiting, but uh, it ended up getting figured out when I bring on the uh, trio here. But, um, yeah, this one's interesting. Uh, like I said, I usually try and go for, um, it's, it's one or the other. I either go for a really, really tanky boss, a lot of HP and defense, or I go for a boss that hits hard and has a lot of um, defense, because those two are usually the ones that have the highest point allocations for these burst modes. But, um, you can see I'm just putting up a bright and excited. I was worried it might be a little bit too, um, dull uh, for y'all. Because I usually try and keep it low for my eyes. I get pretty bad migraines. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was probably fine at all. I mean, I didn't really see any big of a difference, personally at least. But maybe you did. Uh, Post-editing, um, it's a little bit, I guess, better to see. Because I'm on, like, an auditing software. So everything looks brighter than it actually is. But as you can see, this is one of the maps, a lot of the GT ones have this, but still Omega ones where the whole map is that, like, it did elaborate the feel. All these old Dark Adventures are like this, are like really, really big, um, puzzle board game base fields. And, um, there's the, um, the GT ones, there's like a bunch of bosses. So the Shadow Dragons, you can technically fight every Shadow Dragon on this, but it's like, you get one of the, um, the Shadow, the sh Dragons based on which, uh, path you go. God, that's such a good intro, dude. But, um, yeah, so based on which path you go to, you'll get a different Shadow Dragon, and then you'll hop into the final, um, path, which you fight, um, Nova and Ice in one fight, and then you go into, um, Sin and Omega in a second fight. But, um, yeah, I think the first one I went the left path, and I got, um, who was it? Oceanus, I think? I think it was Oceanus, yeah. Pretty sure it was her. I might be wrong, mistaken. Which which path it is? But I'm pretty sure the left is Oceanus, but but um, yeah. But as you expect, like I said, um, he he doesn't do too much, but the dodge sure he's handy. But um, yeah, Major Vegeta is like the MVP. These guys actually did pretty good too in the final fight. I think they did a um the active skill. They did a pretty good target change. But Major Vegeta is definitely the best with his like sixty or seven percent damage reduction after his intro and the six orbs. So. Um, He's key, 100%, and then Tech Hold On actually did really, really good too. I went to the final base, it took a good length of time to beat the final one, because of how I built him, he was very tanky. So, um, we just had to pierce through all of his defense and his HP, he had a lot of HP. So, that, that was what I think took out the most time. Mm -hmm. Maybe so it's first wise, Ice, and Nova.
前は赤ん坊の頃から一度も抱いてやったことがなかったな泣かせてくれな,なんだよパパやめてよ恥ずかしいよ元気でなトラックスいやだれです Yeah, that is an amazing entry. It's a shame I don't see that at all. Because I just don't use this guy anymore, really. But, um, it is amazing. And even those guys, like the free to play one, even those are, isn't too bad, actually. I don't, I don't think I heard a voice in it, but at least it looked decent. But, um, yeah, no, they, this, this pair right here, actually, like Mata Vegeta and um, Ultan, is actually really, really good. <laughs> um, it worked a lot better than I thought it would. But, uh, yeah, these two are probably the best. Um, Characters in this run, actually. Well, it, 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 I'm acting like it sounds surprising, but of course, yeah, Chad Han's still good, even now. <laughs> of course, yeah, who would be surprised? He's still good here. Even with difficult conditions, he's still good. And then, um, Mud Vegeta, of course, with this damn production, he's, he's phenomenal. You know, 200% lead, great. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing car. There's, there's not much else to say. He's good. I might even make a video on him because I think I rainbowed it, or he's 90%. 9% on rainbow. So um, I might even make like a showcase video for him actually, because he, he impressed me a lot. So I might bring him into um, like a red some red zone stage or something and see what happens. But um, yeah, he, he was awesome. Even this guy, uh, he, this guy sucks actually. He needs easy A, but um, at least he links really. I think he's like six out of seven links or five out of seven links with um his bottom Vegeta. So uh, yeah, he is he is fairly good um, linking partner right here. Uh, There's no support, but a very good linking. I don't know, yeah, he'll finish it up here. Double super, he, he, I think he can technically triple super, or double super, whatever. But, um, yeah, and he gets 20% attack defense for a super attack, he does. It's just flatline though for one turn. But, um, yeah, animation's still great. I say I did not see his active skill though, which, um, I would have enjoyed to see. That would have been nice. But here we go, hopping into this. This is where the length of the video comes. This is like. We're sitting here for another eight, nine minutes in just this fight. Okay, and I've already said it, but yeah, obviously phenomenal, amazing. Um, the bad thing is this gun can lock rotations, which is annoying. But um, so depending, this is what actually made me lose that first run, is he locked me, and um, it just didn't go great because Maj Vegeta, of course. Um, Omega was and Sin was attacking slot one, you know, uh, like this phase, uh, Vegeta was in slot uh, three, so that, that's why I lost with that um trunks. But, um, old Han's fine, the Gobros is fine, of course, Bob of the Ant's fine, so uh, there's nothing to worry about for this rotation. This is a great starting rotation for me, even with the locking. Um, it, it's still good. Get the stacks here, the Gobros can build up a little bit, and then we get the ace attacks up with, um, with um, Vegeta here. Yeah, like I said, I would have liked to have seen his active skill. I didn't even, like, check what, like, the requirements are. Actually, I'm gonna check that now. Actually, this is obviously post. Um, this is future Gavin, technically. This is um, like two days after future Gavin. But um, I'll check this. I'm getting the login bonus right now. We have the Cabbage Patch login. Got the Super One, actually. That's not bad. I've been getting really bad luck with those. Um, I've only been getting the uh, ones, which uh, kind of sucks. But uh, it's you know, as I say, it's my luck. There we go. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so I do have him rainbow level 10 links. So I will definitely make a video on him. Um, his active skill requires activate after a character receives an attack six or more times in battle, once only. Oh, but yeah, I wish I got to get that final explosion, dude. What would have been amazing to see. Yeah, six or more times. Which. 
I guess I was thinking it was six or more attacks, but um, that makes more sense. Six attacks taken instead of a done. But damn, that, that would have been awesome, dude, to kill Omega with that, dude. That would have been amazing. Perfect ending. But um, hey, life's not fair, I guess, you know. It's just a great teaching there. And then you see there, the super attacks sound horrible there. It's not, not that bad, considering they're, what, like, two years old? Something like that. Shit. I low key might already do their attack animations better than a uh, Dragon Fist. Wait, do you heard it here? Yeah, they have all the family here. But as you can see, like, this is taking a slow time. Like, this is. See, I, like I said, I made them tanky, so maybe it'd be better for you to do, um, like, higher attack. But I guess for, like, your average player, maybe, this might be the better, um, alternative. I could have gone the, uh, like, higher attack route and killed them faster, but. This is just like a more fun way for me to do because I need to bring these older units. Like Gohan. Gohan would have been fine either way, but since he's a defensive base, like he'll build up and it'll be awesome. I still get to see him and use him in like of course like Candy Vegito. I probably wouldn't bring him into events, but since he can dodge, he, he has usability and he stacks. See, there you go. But um yeah, so it, it's awesome. That's that's why I like burst mode so much. It's customizable content to you. You get to decide how the boss hits, how they dodge, and you know, I guess not dodge, but you know, you you consider and you factor in their HP, their defense, their attack and stuff. Whether they conceal, stun, lower attack and defense, stuff like that, lock rotation, stuff like that. That's that's, that's really cool. And you can even like handicap yourself by um, reducing the amount of keys you start to turn out with. And you limit yourself based on categories, so it it, it makes them like really, really fun. Um, like challenge events, pretty much. It's like, it's like a harder like um, boss rush, pretty much. That's what it is. Like a harder boss rush or like the speed run challenge, speed event. So I, I really enjoy when these come out. These are probably the most fun contents um, that come out. I, I these are these are always like the highlights of celebrations for me at least. So um, I always look forward to these. But here we go. We're hopping into now Omega Shinron. This is the STR um, Dokkan Fest. Um, this guy actually hit fairly hard, but like I said, it was based on my build I did, so... Wait, I see Lanko Bros here, but I think they get their active... No, it's next turn. I mean, not, not next turn, I guess, but two turns from now. But, um... Yeah, this guy actually hit fairly hard, I'm pretty sure. I think he did, like, 300k, maybe 400k to one of these cards. Was it, was it Gohan here? Maybe. It, it, he might have supered Gohan here. There's, there's a super coming. It's either this turn or next turn. We'll see. But yeah, he, he's fairly high attack based on what I do for him, so... He's not... Like, you shouldn't be unfearful. You should be slightly fearful for um, this dude. But Goober should do some pretty solid damage here. Crits would definitely help, but um, they're they still mostly additional builds, so they have a pretty high proc chance to get the additionals. So, a super, though. Yeah. Yeah, so he'll definitely super in this turn. Let's see. Yeah, I think he'll super he'll super Vegeta then. Yeah. Only four key, there we go, six key cheers. But um yeah, like this guy's awesome, dude. Like he's phenomenal. Actually. Or did you get the I get the Dokkan attack, don't I? No. It's next turn. Next turn I get Dokkan attack. He might take double dudes here, actually, if he supers. It's possible. Double to the tank, maybe? I think this is wrapping up the fight. We'll end it most likely next turn. Yeah, no super. Oof. Uh, is he gonna super him? That had hurt actually. See, I don't even remember. This would. Fender that will run before this was like sketchy. Ooh, dodge. There we go. Let's see. It works. Dodge boom. Do it. <coughs> dodge is dodge and dodge. There we go. Oh, it's next turn. Okay. So we live through this turn, and you know, the following turn is the final, final phase, final turn. Okay. I know he supers in this fight. So he's either shipping Gohan or Vegeta here. I'm trying to think. I, I think it's I think it's Gohan then. Yeah, he'll super Gohan here. But Gohan's hitting like three or four hundred k defense then right now, so he's pretty solid. He's done I think three or four super attacks. It's not? What the hell? Am I tripping? I guess I'm getting mixed up on footages, maybe? 
that he didn't super. It, there's no way he didn't super one time this entire run. Is that possible? Oh no, it's his Vegeta. He didn't super. It's his Vegeta right here. 100%, 110%. He's supering him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Of course, when a unit doesn't super attack, he'll super them. Yeah, 220k. He lowers defense too, though, so that's another thing. So, if you bring type disadvantage units, uh, that could definitely uh, affect you. Yeah, we'll get this off and then end the turn with Vegeta here. There we go, and then put Vegeta up front, yep, yeah, it's five experience, it's, it's enough, I guess, not twice six. Get these up, get the dope contact, of course, and this is a wrap. Now go on and get the rewards, and then I'll have a um, slight cut uh, from also, I guess technically past me now, I'm future Gavin, even past what I record, I already recorded the outro technically, but um, yeah. So I guess Paz Gavin will come in and uh, take it away and end the video for y'all. We're getting this in. Uh, like I said, this sh should be it. It's type all uh, Rainbow Vegeta. Like this is he's, he's dead. Oh, he did die. Okay, never mind. Gobro is my bad. Uh, Vegeta's a fraud. He's a fraud. Confirmed. Hello. But there we go, that is Majin Buu Saga. Mission clear, 6,000 points, over 6,000 points for the Omega Shenron Burst Mode. But we're going to hop out of here and go ahead and pick up the rewards. I should be looking at something like 8 Dragon Stones and the uh, Burst Coins. I think like four or 500 Burst Coins, something like that. There we go, 6,040 points. I could have gone higher, but no, this is what I ended up doing with the conditions I had for um, this much boost I got But like I said, I could have gone a little bit higher, but uh, it, it's fine. I, I try and see on the cusp of it, so I just get it done, get it recorded, and I put it out there for you. We're going to hop over here, show you that, 14, 20 minutes. Not bad, 14 minutes. But um, yep, here you go. So, here we go. Eight dragon stones pop in there, and yeah. But in future game, see you later, guys. And quickly finish this up for the mash evolution stage and get this burst mode done. Um, so earlier, this had to be like split up a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, but um, yeah, I'll just go ahead recording this like that several um different iterations of it, if that makes sense. Um, it was just recorded over like the span of um, like four or five hours because I was out doing stuff with my family. So, um, yeah, of course, it didn't all, uh, I guess, work out the way I wanted it to. Um, some of the recordings like kind of flopped and stuff, but uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna hop in here and uh, finish this one up real quick. Um, is it, it's not gonna be hard, um, but let's see how this is done. And uh, get this uploaded and finished. Let's see, we'll put print that. Oh, actually, get that off, yeah. Uh, let's go this way. But, um, yeah. So, um, it, it'll be segmented a little bit, so it might be a little bit uh, cutty with how it's um, put together. I think there will be like three parts in the video that are segmented together or something like that. But, um, yeah. So, it, like I said, it was quarter over a few days. Like, it took me um, uh, two attempts to get the first one done. Which was the uh, Maja Bruce Saga? That was the actual like quish mission I did, which was over six thousand points. Um, I, I used that. I did that team because it gave me the most points per um clear for it. But um, that one took me two attempts. Like I said, the first attempt, um, I just got bad luck. I brought the um, it's awakened Ent um Super Saiyan Trunks and the uh, uh T R um Tech uh, Gohan in a Goten. The, the ones that are doing Kamehameha, both of them from the uh. Uh, by our rolling movie, it's those guys. But, um, yeah, those are decent cards, but it's just, like, because the way I built the event, I made, uh, Sin hit hard and have high defense, so we just had to, like, basically outlive him. Which is usually how I try and build him. Oh, he gets done. Bruh. 
but um, yeah. So I usually go try and build it, but um, they just couldn't take it out because I had I didn't I couldn't think I was able to bring them both on the same team. It was only trunks, and he got the requirement done for um Maja Vegeta to tank. But in one of the rotations I goofed up and put him on um the bad rotation, so it ended up being kind of weird and goofy. But um, yeah. Long story short, the two attempts and this one took two attempts as well. Now. Um, I just decided to just do the requirement for like the category only because this video would have been over like 40, 40, 50 minutes, something like that if I added all of them together with the fail attempt and these attempts, so it would have been like, like an hour long video and it, yeah, I just know y'all don't watch it, so it's better for me to just do it like this instead so I can ensure at least you see a little bit of the video and you get to hear me some and um, yeah, but um, this will be wrapping it up pretty quickly here uh, we'll get this done, and then we'll hop into the um, the actual sin into a mega fight, which is the uh, uh, Dokkan of a hint. There's just a lot of fights in between it. Um, a lot of these GT ones have stuff like that. There's the Shadow Dragons, they pretty much have all the characters here. And it's just based off your um, your mapping to get a. I guess the pathing where you go and who you, which uh, Shadow Dragon you fight. But yeah, we'll fight him here, and it'll be a two phase fight, get him done pretty quickly since, there's, like I said, there's no actual requirements. <laughs> I don't even know if I should be speaking over this. I, I, it was already shown in the video, so I guess it didn't really matter actually now I think about it. But <laughs> since it was post commentary anyway, so I already showed these intros in the video, so I guess it didn't really matter if I talk over them and I think about it, because I already showed them the um, the blues and um Majin Video, which I, I, I kinda of forgot Majin Video even had an intro, which his is actually really, really good. It's just long. Like um like Borlocks, tech Borlocks, but like it's really, really good. So I'm I'm happy I got to see that actually. I didn't get to do the active skill, but it was fun. Like that one, I think it took like 17 minutes to beat the event, so it was a while because the way I built it. So, like they were tanky. So, but it was fun. That Mono D was an MVP, MVP man. He was he was really really good in this one. So um, I was happy I got to see that side of him. Usually, I don't use him often. If I wanted to use him, I'd bring him up like the LR Vegeta and Trunks. But um, well, uh. I can't always do that, <laughs> and in this one I couldn't because they weren't on the leader skill for Majin Buu Saga, so in this case I couldn't bring him, so I had to bring that bad trunks. Which I ended up bringing, I think it was the... It was the GT trio, the Trunks, Goku, and... No, Trunks, Goten, and um, Gohan, and the Dragon. I brought Vivid Stamp, and actually worked pretty decently. So I was pleasantly surprised by um, their O. Also the Blues, if this stuff right, I won't have the footage up. Um, they actually performed fairly okay in the video. Actually, they um, they they did pretty decently. Actually, um, the Dokkan Fest. I was they get obviously they're not great in point thing, but they can do like three supers at least. So in that case, like it's like okay, they're pretty decent. But um, yeah, I was semi impressed with them considering how old they are and what what they are as a unit. You know, like they're they're just like glass cannon, and even then they don't hit that hard. But, um, yep, that'll uh, wrap it up. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. This will be a little bit a longer one because it's not even a showcase video. It's just, um, I guess it's just a burst mode. But these are fun. I really like these because you can make them challenging and slightly difficult. But uh, like I said, these are fun. They're fun to do, and I enjoy doing them honestly. So I uh, hope you do as well. I hope this helps you too. If you need to do the six thousand point requirement to get it done, uh, hopefully you can use that much Bruce Soccer team, and maybe it'll do some for you if you have something like that. If not. Uh, if you put in the comment section down below, uh, if you don't have a character, I can help you build a team if you need that. Um, yeah, just let me know, and I hope it helped you, and hope you have a good day. As always, take care. Bye, guys.